Sony Network Communications, a division of the Sony Group, is launching a Web3 incubation pro program for projects that focus on NFT utility and DAOs. The program is going to be organized by Startail Labs and will challenge entrants to explore how blockchain technology can solve various problems in their industry. The parent company of Startail Labs, Astar Network, uh, recently ran a similar program at Toyota, looking at how Toyota can implement um, DAOs within their business model for better decision making. David, I'm going to toss this one off to you. DAOs for better decision making in hierarchical businesses that have been around for decades sounds crazy to me. Uh, what do you what do you make of this? Well, I, I would say first that like Toyota in particular is is pretty well known for experimenting with structures. So this is not entirely out of step for, for them. I'm not as familiar with Sony's managerial approaches. Um, the other thing I would say right off the bat is uh, I, I was not familiar with a star network. Um, and uh, I did just a tiny bit of poking. They seem to be based in Japan, which makes sense given these two partnerships with Toyota and Sony. The other thing that's notable about them is they are a polygon side chain. Uh, in terms of their their structure. Um, so that's interesting because for those who, I mean, there's some complexities, but Polygon is debatably an offshoot of Ethereum. So we're now looking at an offshoot of an offshoot dealing with these big corporations. So I think it speaks to uh, sort of the amount of traction that still exists out there for this kind of project. Uh, I, I don't know if Zach or Adam was first, but uh, Zach, go for it. Just gonna fact check you. I think you, I think you meant Polkadot there. Um... But, Polka dot. Sorry, that yeah, is. Thank you. Yeah, they do share a co-founder, Gav Wood, Ethereum co-founder, who the later went on to launch Polka dot. So I think Astar has like its own parachain, which in you know Polygon. Sorry, there I did it again. Then in Polka dot parlance Polka is sort dot. of the layer one, uh, where Polka dot is sort of the layer zero. So there's sort of the added complexity with how Polka dot works. Um, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna reserve judgment on this one. I want to see what emerges from this one. Uh, I would much rather see this story after that cohort is graduated to see what kind of use cases we're ultimately talking about and whether or not some of these top tier partners actually deliver value. You know, I think in the history of crypto, we've seen a lot of announcements like this. They don't ever seem to materialize that much. Um, so for me, I'm, I'm waiting to the, the real story here is not the launch, but is the completion. And we'll see what happens with that. Um, but congrats on Astar for bagging a big brand. Uh, last thoughts to you, Adam. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be quick. So yeah, I think that this is something that you would expect to see from a company like Sony. Again, there are lots of problems that tokens and NFTs can legitimately solve for a big publisher like that, that still uses traditional distribution networks. Again, like there's an enormous use case to be had around NFTs just for the ownership of games, right? If you didn't have to go through storefronts like Steam, if you didn't have to go through storefronts like Epic or whatever, but game games were just universally owned based on having a token. So you can like, that's one of like 50 different problems that this stuff really can solve. So there is a real reason for it. On the other side of things, you know, like you've got companies like this who basically this is their whole business model. They say, hey, we can help you innovate and find ways to do this. That's a continuation of trend that we see here. Again, it's another step on the long road to boring. And I think that we're moving along at a nice clip. So, but I think that we can, uh, Jen, you got any thoughts on this one? Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. I was going to bring up the road to boring. I was going to say this is, you know, Web 2.5. We've seen this kind of in the financial aspect of the industry, and now we're seeing it with NFTs and DAOs. And I think it will be interesting and quite boring if we can see this technology kind of infiltrate the traditional businesses that they've been trying to disrupt. But off to you, Zach, to wrap us up for the weekend. Let's do it. I'll wrap. I mean, developer report by Electric Capital did suggest that there are some devs in Polkadot land. So let's hope they find some funding and build some <laughs> cool things.